what is going on guys welcome to my playstation 2 update collection video actually no one requested this but i'm just gonna say it's one of my most requested videos let's take a look at my playstation 2 collection as you can see if you've watched my collection videos before we just put all the sports games over there throw them on the shelf right away i got two box consoles this is my original one that i picked up when i was in yuma arizona and then i recently found this one at a garage sale so love the playstation 2 huge library of games a lot of variety, a lot of great titles, and by the end of the day, we're going to have this thing completely full. So I do want to talk about one sports game, NCAA College Football 2005. Uh, I played like 20-something seasons of this, so I don't know. my opinion, the best college football game on the PlayStation 2. And that's all we're going to talk about when we talk about sports games. Let's get into... The main stacks. Now, these aren't in any particular order, so sorry. We've got uh, Spyro Hero's Tail, Spyro Dawn of the Dragon, Spyro Eternal Night, Spyro A New Beginning. I got all those Spyro games in a lot. Uh, I paid like 60 bucks or something. We got Bad Boys, Miami Takedown, State of Emergency, which is a Rockstar game. I haven't played that one. Atari Anthology, Dark Cloud, again a game I haven't played, DT Racer, Harry Potter, and the Sorcerer's Stone, you like Harry Potter, Orphan, Looney Tunes, oh god we're falling already, Tokyo Extreme Drift Racer, we'll get those on the, on the shelf, Stack them up. All right, next stack of games: Namco Museum, which is awesome. Dot Hack. This is uh, this is not complete. It's missing the bonus disc and the manual. So again, that's the cheaper of the the Dot Hack games. Juiced Two. Total Overdose. Scalar. Tekken Five. Terminator: Dawn of Fate. I have not played that one. UEFA Euro 2004. That should be in the sports game pile. Somehow it snuck in. Uh, the Thing, which I promised uh, Retro Social Work Game Hunter I would play, and I have never played it yet. Spawn Armageddon. Half Life. We'll get those on the shelf. Boom. There we go. All right. We got Rygar. Kingdom Hearts, The Sims busting out, Obscure the Aftermath, survival horror game there, Crazy Taxi, pretty fun game, I actually prefer the Dreamcast version, that's sort of my preferred version, uh, Showdown, Legends of Wrestling, Legends of Wrestling, they're given the option, you always play as Macho Man Randy Savage, oh yeah! We got Dead to Rights, Gungrave Overdose, SD Gundam Showdown. I think I got that at Half Price Books. I still never played it. SSX, Jet Moto X2O. I thought this would be a little bit more like Hydro Thunder, and it kind of is, but. Uh, I don't know, it's just something about it that I didn't, I didn't really care for. I mean, I played it, but we got uh, Robotech Invasion. SOCOM, Combined Assault. Samurai Warriors 2 Extreme Legends. Cabela's Dangerous Hunts. I've never played a Cabela's game. I don't know, just like, I'm not a hunter in real life, so I don't know if I'd play a game. Yu Yu Hakushu. Save that one. We've got uh, Conflict Desert Storm. These games are actually really good. The first one is like one of my favorite PlayStation games of all time. We got Sly Cooper 3. MX Rider. Actually, the graphics on that look really good, so I haven't played it. Tomb Raider Underworld. I'll show you a better Tomb Raider game in a few minutes. 
We've got Tony Hawk American Wasteland. Jax 3, which I also have a loose disc of somewhere. Indiana Jones, the Lego. Lego Indiana Jones, the original adventure. Um, I gotta sort of be in the mood to play the Lego games. They're good. I like the Lego games, but like, you gotta kind of be in the mood to play. Because it's just, it's a lot of stuff going on. Alright, Gran Turismo 3. And Gran Turismo 4. Everybody says 4 is better. I haven't really played it. Um, I like the Gran Turismos on PlayStation 1. That's sort of sort of where I like to be. Uh, Super Busta Move with one of the weirdest cover arts you'll ever see in your life. Uh, Yu-Gi-Oh! Duelist of the Roses. This was supposed to come with three limited edition Yu-Gi-Oh! cards. But uh, it doesn't come with those. So, bummer. Unlimited Siega. Which is another RPG. Uh, Splashdown Rides Gone Wild. Eh, it's sort of like Hydro Thunder, but it's got the buoy thing that I don't like. Destroy All Humans. Blood Omen 2. American Chopper 2, which I'm sure is a dream. I kind of liked that show when it was on. We got Spartan Total Warrior and Super Monkey Ball Adventure. Get those on the shelf. All right, some of you guys swear by these games right here. Grand Theft Auto Vice City, Grand Theft Auto San Andreas. Both of those are complete with uh, the maps and everything that's supposed to come in there. Hurdy Gurdy. Again, I think I picked that up on a lot or something. Never played it. We got Twisted Metal Black. SSX3. We've got Okagi. Shadow King. Game I've never played. Champions Return to Arms, not a uh, not a very easy to find game right there, especially complete. This one is like mint complete with it came with a memory card. I remember I got it at a Goodwill for like three bucks. Hot Shots Golf, I do love my arcade golf games. Sphinx, which I tried to play that a little bit. It's kind of a weird little platformer. And Contra Shattered Soldier, awesome game. All right, we. Got ATV Off-Road Fury, ATV 2, ATV 3, the first American Chopper, get to the Chopper, Hunter the Reckoning Wayward, Manhunt, Reign of Fire, Pirates of the Caribbean at World's End, let me know in the comments section if you've played those Pirates of the Caribbean game, if they're good, because I like the movies. We've got uh, Sub Rebellion. Definitely, I got that a half price book. I think I got that on like 30% off day or something. So, we've got Rayman 2, Rampage Total Destruction, Onimusha, Warlords, Warlords. Badass game right here if you're into racing games. Outrun 2006, Coast to Coast. Very awesome game. Get them on the shelf. Alright. SSX Tricky. NFL Street 2. I love these street games, man. And NFL Street 2 is probably the better one. 3 is a, a little bit harder to find. Uh, the Legend of Alon Dar. Alon Dor. Save that one for later. We got Armored Core 2, which is awesome. Midnight Club 3. I got that one from um, Sprooch, Sprooch Game Hunting. I still haven't played it yet, but man, I really like the, the first Midnight Club, so I'm pretty sure I'm going to like that one. We've got Legends of Wrestling, Ace Combat, Tekken 4, Fire Pro Wrestling. We got that from uh, MC Murr. Pretty awesome. It's uh, There's so much to customize in that game. You can customize not only what your character looks like, but like move sets and finishers and things like that. Max Payne, The Fall of Max Payne. We've got Mega Man X8. Get those on the shelf. You can see we're filling it up. All right, we got 
SpongeBob SquarePants, Revenge of the Flying Dutchman. World Heroes Anthology. Again, anytime you can find an SNK compilation disc. I think I got this for like five or six bucks or something. But it's got World Heroes, World Heroes 2, World Heroes 2 Jet, and World Heroes Perfect. So, yeah, they would obviously be cheaper than buying. We got Hard Hitters Tennis, which is only in this pile because it's an Atlas title. So if you're looking for a cheap Atlas title that, you know, add to the collection, get that one. We got uh, Super Dragon Ball Z. Crimson C2, which is a Koei title. Don't see a lot of that one out there. Robotech Battle Cry. Rogue Galaxy. And Blade 3. Almost got it filled up. Woo! Okay, so here's what happened. <laughs> Mega Man X8, I was like, I know I've got Mega Man X7, but I don't see it in the stack of games that I have left. And then I remembered I have a box this size in the basement full of PlayStation 2 games. So I had to run down and get it. But we're back. If you don't have this game right here in your collection, you're amateur hour. Okay? You're not a big dog unless you got this one. Disney Sing It, High School Musical 3, Senior Year. Get it off the bay. Uh, you guys know I love my pinball games. You got uh, Gottlieb, Pinball Hall of Fame. I bought these with the intention of playing them. There's another one I'll show to you. But uh, got the ones on PlayStation 4. Onimusha 2. Red Ninja. Not a game you see a lot of. Not a great game. Resident Evil Code Veronica. This one has the bonus disc. I think it was Devil May Cry or something. Yeah, Devil May Cry bonus disc included. Beautiful Joe 2. Max Payne. Pac-Man World 2. Arctic Thunder. You guys know I'm a huge fan of Hydro Thunder. Um, I actually didn't really like this game that much. I didn't like the weapons in there. I wish they just would have left it like Hydro Thunder, like straight racing. But whatever. When I have my own game company, we'll make those decisions. We got the Hulk. Echo the Dolphin, Kill Switch, Blood Rain. I heard that's actually not a bad game. Uh, Tokyo Extreme Drift Racer, The Bouncer, Finding Nemo. Here's one you don't see a lot. This is Magic Pe Magic Pengle. It's like one of those creator RT type games. It's an Age Tech title. Mad Maestro and Gauntlet Dark Legacy. I always love the, the Gauntlet franchise. It's a pretty good game, too. All right, you can see we're stacking them up, guys. We are getting to the top. Oh, jam them in there. We'll just start a new row right over here. Yay, new row. All right, here we go. We got... Uh, Corvette, Devil May Cry, X-Squad, Hidden Invasion. Did I already show that one? Do we have two copies of Hidden Invasion? I don't know. I'll sort that out later. Taito Legends. If not, we'll put it. We'll put it. If we do, we'll put it in a doubles bin. Hell yeah. Prince of Persia, The Sands of Time. One of my newly found favorite franchises, Ratchet and Clank. The PS4 version is amazing. Actually, I'm going to set this aside. We're going to play that later. Smackdown, just bring it. It's probably my favorite PlayStation 2 wrestling game so far. I didn't like the Smackdown versus Raw. I didn't like the grapple meter. Uh, Ace Combat, the Balkan Wars. Frogger. Transformers, the game. Deus Ex. Gauntlet, Seven Sorrows, The Simpsons, Road Rage, Grand Theft Auto 3, Burnout 3, Ty, Tasmanian Tiger, Ty 2, another game that should be in the sportsman pile, Street Hoops, 
Soul Calibur 3, which is awesome because this one comes with a bonus disc as well. And we've got Boulder's Gate Dark Alliance, which I have yet to play. But uh, people tell me it's really good, so we'll put that one aside too. How about that? There she is, Ty, Tasmanian Tiger 3. Need for Speed, Underground 2. Cabela's Alaskan Adventure. Star Wars Starfighter. Ratchet and Clank, Up Your Arsenal. Risk, Global Domination. I actually enjoy Risk, the board game, so I don't know. I think I got that on 75 Cent Day. Uh, Extreme G Racing Association. ATV Off-Road Fury 4. I knew I had that one. Dragon Ball Z Infinite World. And NFL Blitz 2003. I keep this one separate because I do like the Blitz games. But I prefer playing the Nintendo 64 versions. But it's fun to pop that in every now and then. Alright. Cabela Deer Hunt 2005 season. Genji. Dawn of the Samurai. I have yet to play that, but I do love samurai games, man. I love, like, Hack and Slash and The Adventures of Cookies and Cream. Another Age Tech title. I think Brad from Chasing the Classics is in love with this game. Call of Duty Finest Hour. The Art of Fighting Anthology. Uh, this is the Williams Pinball Hall of Fame collection. Is this not complete? Okay, yeah, it's complete. It's got a real light manual. But uh, yeah, it's pretty fun to play some of those old old pinball games. Here's a... Gotta have this. This is a must. Conflict Desert Storm. It's so awesome. Enter the Matrix. Love that cover. Spy Hunter. We were just talking about this on a live stream with uh, Captain Retro. You could like change it into a boat and like a helicopter or a motorcycle or something. I have to go back and play that. We've got Medal of Honor, Rising Sun, God of War 2. I still need to play the first God of War. All right, leading off this stack with a game that could have been, man. Auto Modelista, it's Capcom title. You look at it, you're like, man, Fast and the Furious, cell shaded, looks awesome. It's just, the controls suck. And there's no way around it, it's just terrible. Tetris Worlds, Splashdown. If you're going to get one of the two splashdowns, get the second one, Rides Gone Wild. Sonic Heroes. Medal of Honor, Rising Sun. NFL Blitz. I love NFL Blitz. I love the arcade, uh, but I'd rather play like the N64 versions. This is sort of me. Uh, Cabela Alaskan Adventure. Need for Speed Underground 2. Evil Dead Fistful of Boomstick. Tomb Raider Anniversary, you got to get that one in your collection. That's a that's a great game right there. A lot of fun for 10 bucks. Mr. Mosquito. Marvel Ultimate Alliance 2. I love the Ultimate Alliance games. They're fun to just like sit down and play with like my son and I used to play a lot of Ultimate Alliance. Jack and Daxter. Actually, you know what? Maybe we'll do that tonight. We'll put that up there. Uh, Kingdom Hearts 2. I wish I was more into the Kingdom Hearts games because they look like a ton of fun. But, man, I put like 10 hours, like I said, into the first one. We got uh, Need for Speed Underground. Dr. Mudo. God of War. My favorite Crash game on the PlayStation 2. Crash Bandicoot, Wrath of Cortex. It's probably my favorite Crash game of all time, to be honest with you. I haven't played all of them, but out of all the ones I've played, this is my favorite. Unfortunately... The loading times are the biggest pain. Tom and Jerry Whiskers of War, War of the Whiskers. Tom and Jerry. Tom and Jerry. Siphon Filter the Omega Strain. Probably my least favorite of the Siphon Filter games. Still a pretty good game, just not as good as the other ones I thought. We've got Sly Cooper 2. That'll probably be one of the next series I get into. Never played a Sly Cooper game in my life, but my son loves them, so I'll definitely give them a try. Onimusha 3, Demon Siege. Okay, Star Wars Racer Revenge. I wish they'd make a new version of Star Wars Pod Racers for like the PlayStation 4. I can only imagine like 
how awesome the updated graphics would look and be amazing. We got Gungrave. Loose disc here. We got Legacy of Kane Defiance. Got that in a lot. African Safari. Time Splitters 2. If you're going to get a siphon filter on the PlayStation 2, this is the one to get right here. Dark Mirror. Amazing game. Gun. Devil May Cry 2. That was a recent pickup. Ed, Ed, and Eddie. Metal Gear Solid 2. Um, this is the last game that I pre-ordered from GameStop. That's how long it's been since I've pre-ordered a game from GameStop. But um, I was happy with this game until I had to play as Raiden. And then I wasn't happy because I wanted to play as Snake. Marvel Ultimate Alliance. Yeah, we'll put that up there. <laughs> uh, X-Men Wolverine's Revenge. Cool game here, Katamari Damase. If you're not into these weird type games, this isn't for you. But if you like weird crazy stuff then this game is pretty awesome all right metal metal slug four and five this one's actually missing the metal slug five game disc so if anybody has that and wants to trade it or sell it let me know another solid siphon filter title we've got logan shadow i believe this was the psp game of the year yes in 2007 we've got kengo tony hawk pro skater four Red Dead Revolver, Spider-Man, Champions of Norath, and God of War 2. This also comes with a, a second disc, a collector's disc or something. All right, Cabela Deer Hunter. Again, I have a lot of hunting games, and I've never hunted in my life. Risk Domination. Global Domination. Ratchet and Clank, Up Your Arsenal. Star Wars, Jedi Starfighter. Tie, Tasmanian Tiger 3. Crash and Burn. I said that real weird. Burn, Crash and Burn. Star Wars Bounty Hunter. Capcom Classic Collection. You know I love my... Uh, my collection compilation discs, man. This is an ultimate one to have in your collection. It's really good. Street Fighters, Ghosts and Goblins, 1943s, all kinds of cool stuff. There's my girl right there. My special lady, Mega Man X7. That was a little overboard. Sonic Mega Collection Plus. X-Men Legends 2. Tony Hawk Underground 2. And Guitar Hero 3. I don't even think I own a guitar for Guitar Hero anymore. I sold them all. All right. Woo! Here's a heavy hitter right here, man. If you like survival horror, you got to get this game. The X-Files plays like an episode of the X-Files, but it's got those Resident Evil type tank controls. Very awesome game, man. I wish I... I need to play more of that. I played like through the first two chapters. We got Siren. Nightmare Before Christmas. Charo Q. Mega Man Anniversary Collection. Uh, Tomb Raider Legend. Samurai Warriors. Hitman Contracts. Jaws Unleashed. Smackdown. Shut Your Mouth. Uh, not a common game here. I found this at Goodwill for $1.99, I think. Uh, Graffiti Kingdom. Unfortunately, it's just loose disc. It's in a generic case. But, yeah, not a not an easy game to come by, especially complete. We've got Dino Stalker. I think that's a light gun game. Yeah, it's a gun con game. Woo! Spy Hunter. We were just talking about this in one of my live streams. Captain Retro was. Yeah, Enter the Matrix. Conflict Desert Storm. Again, another game that you need to get for your collection if you don't have it. It's like under like five bucks. It's a stupid cheap game. And every time you hear me go, Gotham Games, that's what I'm talking about. Uh, Pinball Hall of Fame, the Williams Collection. Art of Fighting Anthology. 
Ought to Fighting Anthology. Call of Duty Finest Hour. Brad's favorite game from Chasing the Classics right here. Cookies and Cream. Genji Dawn of the Samurai. I love samurai games, man. Dragon Ball Z Infinite World. We've got ATV Off-Road Fury 4. So I guess I have all four. I thought I was missing one, but apparently I got them all. Extreme G Racing Association. I'd rather play the ones on the N64, to be honest with you. Although I gotta say, I didn't give this one a fair shake. Okay, here we go. Uh, let's get to some RPGs. I know a lot of you guys love RPGs out there. I'm not a huge fan of the RPGs. Um, I will pop them in and play them a little bit, but I don't really generally put a lot of time into it. I know that hurts Roaming Dan's heart to hear that, and maybe uh, Bad Company, maybe that hurts his soul a little bit. But uh, we do have Final Fantasy X, Final Fantasy X-2, Final Fantasy XII in the Steelbook uh, Collector's doohickey thing. Wild Arms 3, sort of a, I, I guess if I were to play a franchise, a turn-based RPG type franchise, it would probably be the Wild Arms game. I've talked about it before. I had the demo disc for PlayStation 1, played it, really enjoyed it. So we got Yeez. Grandia, so I won this game from uh, Nintendo 13. We had a Ohio State Michigan bet and I barely won. So glad to have that in the collection. We've got Xenosaga. Which I actually played a little bit of that. I kind of enjoyed that one a little bit. I always say, like, oh, yeah, I played a little bit and I enjoyed it. But then I never, like, I don't have, like, 100,000 hours to spend on an RPG. Xenosaga 2. So maybe I should. I don't know. We've got uh, Dragon Warrior 8. Journey of the Cursed King. And that came with a demo disc. Like, it's heavy. I think, I think this was supposed to come with a box. Like, there was a box over it. And then we've got uh, Tales of the Abyss. All right. Aliens vs. Predator Extinction. Love Aliens vs. Predator. Okami. Great game. Star Wars Battlefront 1. Star Wars Battlefront 2. Got to have those in your collection. The Battlefront games are awesome. Beyond Good and Evil. If you don't have this, go get this right now while it's still relatively cheap. When the sequel comes out, I'm sure this game will go up in price a little bit. It came out on the GameCube and the Xbox, so you really sort of have your choice of console. Uh, R-Type Final. Here we go for our shmup fans. Mobile Light Force 2. Don't ever pass this game up. You look at the cover art, you're like, oh, it's a, that's a turd. That's a Dino Dookie game, but it's not. It's actually a really awesome bullet hell style shoot 'em up game. It did have a sequel, sequel called Castle Shikigami 2. I'm not going to get into the whole Shikigami no Shiro, Gunbird, Mobile Light Force, Castle Shikigami thing. But uh, yeah, it's a thing. It's a whole thing. Project Silphied, so working design games. Shiny cover. Pretty badass shooter right there. We got Rez. Rez, this is a pretty difficult game to find complete. This is in very nice condition. I got this on a trade off of Facebook. Uh, a guy named Jordan lives like 40 minutes away. He had a bunch of Saturn games too, so... I was happy, to, really happy to get this in the collection. We've got probably, uh, I don't know if this is a valuable game anymore. We've got Dragon Ball Z Budokai Tenkaichi 3. At one time, this game was getting up into the $100 range. But uh, there's also a Wii version. So I don't know if that made the price go down. This one also does come with a bonus disc. I think it's a DVD, actually. Or like the 20 best fights or something. Uh, probably my most expensive PlayStation 2 game. We've got Jurassic Park Operation Genesis. This game is tons of fun. It's like a Jurassic Park sim simulator. Build your own Jurassic Park, which is awesome. All right, so let's round this off by talking about some of my sealed games, some of my collector's editions, and things like that. And then we'll get out of here. We have Singit Factory Sealed, if you don't have that. Woo! Racing Italiano Factory Sealed. And Hard Rock Casino. Three heavy hitters. See, I, like you could have like I don't think you could have three worse sealed games, but uh, I got them. I got these from Kane Deathbreaker. Uh, these are PAL version games for PlayStation Two. We've got Metal Slug Five, and we've got King of Fighters Maximum Impact Two. So we've got a couple PAL version games in the collection. 
And because they came from Kane Deathbreaker, they're like coveted. I'm so happy to have them. I'll never get rid of them. That's for sure. Okay, so we've got this in the box. This is Star Ocean End of Time. Came in a cardboard sleeve overlay thing. Um, I don't think it's pretty rare, but got the game in there. Pretty awesome. It's complete. A little slow for me. I like the combat in that game. I really, actually, I really enjoyed the combat, but like, I don't really like all that story stuff. We've got uh, SOCOM U.S. Navy SEALs. This is the big box. Pretty cool. You can see in there. It came with a, like a headset back in the day. I don't know who had that before. I wouldn't want to put that on my head, but <laughs> whatever. Pretty awesome. Got that at Goodwill for three dollars. I got this in a lot. Um, I actually. For like 60 bucks. I sold the majority of the lot except those Spyro games and this for like 90 bucks. But we've got the Crash Bandicoot Action Pack. Comes with uh, Nitro Kart, Twin Sanity, and uh, Tag Team Racing. I've been thinking about selling this because those games I probably won't play. But my wife actually talked me into keeping it. So, And she is not a gamer. She's like, but I thought you loved that thing. And I'm like, I do. She's like, then don't sell it. And I'm like, okay. Alright, so I, the two things that I'm most proud to have in my collection... These are really cool, and I, I really like them. I wish I could find more. They kind of take up a lot of space, but they're the GunCon 2 Time Crisis Big Box games. We've got Time Crisis 3. I actually did sort of an unboxing of this, so it's in the odds and ends section of my channel if you want to check that out. And I picked up Crisis Zone. I got that at Half Price Books. I think they had like 30 bucks on it, but it was missing the T-cable, so they lowered it to like 16 bucks, and then I had 20% off. So we got a really good deal on that. Ugh. We, can't even, we don't have any room to put those on the shelf. But guys, that's going to do it. That is my PlayStation 2 collection. Oh, we might. Hold on. Hold on. We might be able to get them on the shelf. There, I'll hold them up. Hold everything up. Guys, thanks for watching my PlayStation 2 collection video. Let me know in the comment section down below what your favorite PlayStation 2 game of all time is. And we'll see you on the next one.